Hey everyone, under my OBS Twitch VOD track YouTube video, I often get asked how I separate my music from my desktop audio, and I really thought this would be somewhat obvious, but apparently it isn't, so I want to dedicate this quick tip video to how I do exactly that. Right after I tell you about our sponsor Restream. We are using the Restream Live Studio combined with other Restream services to do our free weekly live streams. In case you want to learn how Restream can help you with your live streaming needs, make sure to check our Restream playlist or click the link in the video description down below to sign up and get a $10 Restream credit. To separate my desktop audio from my music, I am using a tool called VoiceMeter Banana. VoiceMeter is basically an audio mixer which allows us to separate audio tracks and mix them separately, which is exactly what we want to do. To demonstrate my desktop audio, I'm having Minecraft open, and as you might know, Minecraft has an annoying soundtrack, so there's some sound going on on our desktop. Next to that, I also have Spotify open, which is the tool I use to play music during my live streams. So usually if you have those tools open and both play sound, everything gets mixed down to whatever device is set as your default device down here in your Windows Audio Mixer. This might be something like your speakers or headphones or whatever you have plugged into your computer. And thanks to VoiceMeter, we now have virtual audio channels which allow us to separate the sounds from different software. So the first thing we need to do is we need to change our default um, playback device from our external speakers or headphones or whatever to voice meter. In our case, this will be voice meter input VB audio voice meter VIO. And this name corresponds to this virtual input voice meter VIO. So now all sounds done by the system will get directed to the voice meter VIO virtual input. And if you followed this tutorial along, you probably have noticed that once you did that, you stopped hearing anything on your computer. The reason for that is we haven't defined an output device yet. And this beautiful blinking light is telling us that we should definitely do it. So let's select our output device. And this is the thing where the setup is different for everyone. For me, I'm using my wireless headphones, which are connected to an uh, interface. The Realtek Digital Audio Optical. So you might have noticed that there is now an indicator for audio coming into the voice meter VIO channel. And if we go into Minecraft, into the music options, if I set the master volume to zero, this indicator should disappear because there is no music on my system anymore. And if we do that, exactly that happens. So this just shows you that currently all audio is going through this voice meter VIO channel, just as we set it down here. So if we will play music now on Spotify, this music would also go into the same channel as our desktop audio. So in other words, we haven't achieved anything yet, but we're just about to change that. So to do that, we simply go down here again to our speaker and go to open sound settings. In the open sound settings menu, we scroll down to app volume and device preferences, click in here, and in here we have all this, the tools currently running on my system, and down here is Spotify, and now we have to change the Spotify output. Let's change that to voice meter as well. Again, remember, the voice meter uh, VIO input is basically our system default, so this is where it's currently going. We have to change this to a separate channel which voice meter provides us which is the voice meter aux input so let's click this one and if we close this window we will now see that we have something going on in this channel which is the voice meter aux input so if we stop playing music on spotify we see that this indicator indeed represents the music coming from spotify so what can we do now? If our music playing to one channel and our system audio playing to another channel, we can now handle those two tracks separately. For example, if we have a live streaming software like OBS, we can handle those two tracks separately because if we take a look at our playback audio devices, we will see that we have currently two devices. We have the regular voice meter input, which is currently playing our desktop audio, and we have the aux input, which is playing Spotify. From now on, we can handle our voice meter input, which is our desktop audio, and our voice meter aux input, which is our music separately. There's one thing I want to point out in case you're new to voice meter, 
And in case you're not hearing either channels, make sure that those channels actually output to your output. So what those buttons here mean is this channel, our voice meter VAIO is currently outputting to channel A1 and channel B2. And channel A1 is corresponding to our output A1. So in case you have your headphones at A1 and you only hear your system audio, make sure to also have A1 checked for your music. If I uncheck that A1, I am now not able to hear the music on my headphones because I need to tell our mixer that it should send the music, the audio from our voice meter aux channel to our output A1, which in my case is my headphones. All right, I hope this quick tip helped you. In case it did, please like this video. Let me know with a comment in the comment section below. And if you really like the way I explained this, feel free to subscribe and become a member or whatever, whatever cool kids do these days. All right, I'm Greeny. Thanks for watching. This is Greenbox. Click a video on the end card, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it's only like 2% of the viewers still watching here, but would be cool. Click a video. Bye.